Is he Mage Pain? With the Defenders, Halberd. This could probably work. We'll craft Amulet of Vengeance. I'm okay with this. It's not the uh, defensive kings that we usually go for. Like we go for Amulet of Kings or Armor of Kings. But I think the damage is starting to get to the point where it matters a lot more than having the defense. Alright, so let's craft our Amulet of Vengeance. Why is this negative one? That's weird. Maybe it's because it was changed and... Like, the name changed. So I think it freaked out. Either way. Uh, we're going Crimson Death, we're going Incendiary Demise, Wicked Sickness, um, where is it, Last Stand, and our last one, I go Overflowing Physique. I think that's what I would normally go. I think of what I did beforehand. I don't think I did homemade hazard, but it was probably up there on the list. Probably did Groovy Ghost. Let's go overflow in physique. I've been liking this uh this drink a lot. Alright, so General Traps, top of tower, safe corridors. Do we want an ace key? We'll probably find an ace key. Monoliths, glass walk, treasure hunt, all that should be fine. Don't need the consumables, more enemies is good, don't need ore. Many bosses are fine. We shouldn't need potions. Or maybe we should do the potions but do bigger bottle. Maybe get rid of something else or just pay the money. Nah, I don't want to pay the money. I think we can get away with not having to use any potions. And let's see, just to make sure we do the right one. NG6. probably also would have started with a shield breaker. Shield breaker would at least increase the damage of our uh, AoE ability, but technically we get sing more single target damage with Mage Bane since we're using Scenario Demise. Yeah, I should just be able to tank all these. Can at least reduce their armor with the uh, the grasping roots while we're increasing their magic resist with our bow shot. So that's a stone. Thought for some reason we already had a stone from the shop, but not this time. It's interesting using overflowing physique plus crimson death, you lose your health and your mana as you walk around. Let's see. Does the tuning items have like a 30% chance to gain one HP, double all aspects of it? Um, so if you attune the lifestone, you get 30% chance to gain one health. You don't actually get anything else from the two piece bonus but you would get the base bonus. So like, Amulet of Vengeance gives us the 20% chance to trigger combo, but like, the magic missiles, 
Uh, so it's 30% 2 HP. Uh, so technically the way it works is you have a second item, like a copy of this item in inventory. So you're going to have two 15% chances to get one HP. If that makes sense. Yeah, exactly what Sugar Pip says. Uh, so that was an ore chest, so we didn't get anything. It's always unfortunate. Yeah, our single target's looking good. We'll have to see how it is versus bosses. Piece of journeyman's. Take all the armor we can get at this point. All right, we can't grasp and reach the bats because they're flying. It's just trying to do more damage to them, but it doesn't work like that. It's interesting they move Boots of the Giant to a rare. It'll make the pool of legendaries, uh, well, it'll make opening a chest feel a little better because you'll have slightly less chance of getting something bad. Oh, I think they also said it as a blueprint, so I actually need to farm another blueprint. Not that I really need that one, but it's good to just have everything anyway. No, oh, another ore chest. Just unfortunate RNG. Hey, Elite. Um, we just finished leveling our Paladin. One more level so we can attune the pickaxe. And we'll do like a legit or run after this, we just started our uh, Ranger NG plus six. Also, I messed with some mic settings. I don't know if it sounds better or worse. So if anyone has any opinions. It's hopefully louder, but we'll see. Louder? Nice. Or loader? I just didn't know if it was going to start picking up, like, the fan and the air conditioner and white noise. So I didn't want to increase the, uh, the gain too much. <laughs> no, it's all good. I was just messing with you. That's how it is for everyone. You, uh, you sacrifice accuracy to get speed. Everybody does that. Uh, what are you playing tonight? Mm -hmm. Alright, first shop. So definitely a blackjack. Just stunning, huge priority. Extra magic damage on our primary seems really good, and probably the resist. Could make a case for the apparitions, because it'll help us tanking in the 
uh, ritual phases of Act 4. But I think I would just have... I would rather have a better time surviving in Act 4. And we'll have to come back with some more money. Let's see. We get 140 gold. I'd rather have an easier time surviving in Act 4 than... Like, more damage on the boss. Which could, in turn, be more surviving, but... I think if we can get past the projectiles on those enemies, then we should be able to tank the ritual phases pretty easily, since we can tank... It looks like we're going to be able to tank the whole run, pretty much, within reason. So if we're able to tank it on the Warlock, we should be able to tank it on the Ranger, because we're also using Last Stand before... On the, uh, the Warlock, we weren't using Last Stand. I will play in tanks, so I can watch when I die and talk a bit more in chat tonight. Alright. Cool. Yeah, at the very beginning of the stream we went over the changes that they have on the streamer patch. So, we'll clip that for tomorrow <clears throat> so people can see it. But They all look like good changes. A lot of item changes. And then some Act 5 tweaks with damage and enemies, enemy skills, scaling skills and NGs and that kind of stuff. Alright, secret. One magic and one physical on our primary. So our primary is getting pretty beefy. Yes, we start using our... Uh, this thing called Enchanted Arrow, Power Shot. I was thinking Magic Arrow, Enchanted Arrow, Power Shot. Okay. You start using that more, which they made it where you can continue to walk with it. You don't have to be in combo. So that's kind of nice. Bring up mana. Hey, Rupetti. It's gone pretty well. We just started the Ranger run. We, um, let's see, we're doing some Paladin leveling. We just wanted to get one level so we could do, so we could uh, attune the pickaxe. And we can try to do like a legit poor farm. Uh, what's the build you're going with today? So we took a Ring of Tea plus Mage Bane. Would have also taken Sword of Kings, Amulet of Kings, or Armor of Kings, and then we crafted Amulet of Vengeance. It was also nice because we got the Defender's Halberd in our original set. So it's a pretty standard build. Most solo classes go Ring of T and Amulet of Vengeance. So it's really that third item you want most of the time. The Wizard's the only one that doesn't really care about Ring of T at the very beginning. But the crit casters need Ring of T, Amulet of Vengeance, and the Staff of Unstable Casting, Volatile Casting, the blue one. Um, I guess if you're talking about drinks, we use Crimson Death, Last Stand, Wicked Sickness, Incendiary Demise, and we're using Overflowing Physique, just because it's new and I've been enjoying it so far. It's essentially equal equal to uh, starting the game with Amulet of Kings, or not Amulet of Kings, Crown of Kings. So we get a lot of extra health because of it. Increases our base health by 50%. The only downside to it is we lose mana while we walk around. But if we're standing still, we're tanking hits and we're gaining that mana back anyway. Because it was kind of between that or taking the Groovy Ghost for 8% evasion, but I think having 50% increased base health is probably better than 8% evasion. I could see an argument either way, but it also reduces your, uh, uh, what is this thing called? Attack power by 15 if you take that route. So 
so we're doing the pretty much exactly the paladin build just on the ranger or it's actually exactly the same build what about you what are you up to repetti Just chilling, waiting until the pizza gets here. Oof. That's what's up. Everybody likes pizza. <clears throat> All right, boss time. Like I'm finally eating, feel like I'm not dying. Well, if you eat enough, you'll still feel like you're dying. <laughs> That's preferable to dying from hunger. Yeah, gluttony versus hunger. All right, we're just waiting on our HP. All right, let's do this. I don't think there's anything neat I can do. I guess I can charge up a power shot and walk forward. I think that's about as much of a free casting as I can get. Just waiting on the bats. I want to be able to leech. bad. We got the aberration booklet, so any concerns we had about passing up the pamphlet, we just got twofold the damage. When's the last time you've eaten? Maybe his pizza just showed up. He's currently eating. yesterday. Oof. They're pushing it. I mean, I guess it depends where you live. But that's Yesterday was a long time ago, over here. No food in my house and I'm waiting on payday. So you're like legit starving. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the US. Why is this guy coming over here to hide? I think there's no way I can do this lightning, this lightning uh, puzzle challenge. 
We'll give it a shot, but we don't expect to get a chest. Our character's way too slow. I hope I find Boots of Freedom this run, because it would negate my the downside on that drink. Just be able to go fast. Either way, we're not going to find it for this. Alright, good luck. Spam Q. I spammed my, uh, whatever this thing is, Flare of Arrows to get the movement speed. We almost got there. I feel like we made a couple of, uh, mistakes, but what can you do? You gotta almost preemptively go for some of the squares when you're using Last Stand. shouldn't be make or break. It would have been between a wooden chest or a bronze key, so I didn't miss out too much. Definitely can't get the, uh... yeah, it was just in some like miracle that I got the wooden chest and then the next miracle happened where I didn't get ore or a diamond. Um, that was kind of what I was going for, but didn't work out, so I'm not very hurt. Let's see. Just haven't found our button yet. Oh, never mind. Speak of the devil. So we've had uh, two ore chests and one diamond chest. Feels a uh, lack of items. Man. Whoa, we just destroyed that elite. All right, there's nothing down there. Let's go to the next floor. Must have, I must have gotten the, uh, the the crit mark on his head and just did like a ton of crits to him, because he just disintegrated. All right, we have a secret, so maybe we can get an item. Specifically, if it's the plunger secret, if we can get an item from that, that would be great. I don't know if it, yeah, I guess it's a secret just because it's in behind the wall. Alright, guaranteed item. So, what was it? Aberrations? Alright. That's good. I want as much damage as possible for Act 4. Always worried about it. It's really easy to walk through projectiles or get trapped. Maybe it's just my playstyle that uh, allows that to happen. It's like I think I can tank this. Yeah. The Defender's Halberd and the Stun item are helping immensely. Like, unless all those rangers shoot me at the exact same time, they can't really do anything. Let's see, I wish there was an item that had a chance to destroy projectiles, similar to Wizard Q. 
I mean, it's kind of stuff like that, like the uh, the magic missile, I guess. It just kind of flies in random directions, but I know what you're talking about. Um, oh, destroy projectiles. My bad. Summon a wizard queue. I was thinking the wrong thing. Yeah, that'd be really nice. The closest thing we have is the frying pan, but it makes it kind of awkward. Like, as a ranger, I gotta face the opposite way, and so the only damage I can do is with my AoE, which isn't very much. It's a little awkward to try to do that. Mm, I don't know destroy projectiles. I like that. I think it would have to be basically exactly the wizard queue, just like a 10 second cooldown, 20 second cooldown, whatever. If you get hit by projectile, you do the uh, blast nova and it just destroys all the projectiles in the area. You just actually gain the wizard queue passive ability. I always forget those are Q and uh, Q and E. Is I I mapped them on my mouse because I don't like having to move my movement keys, like my fingers off my movement keys. Because like, how how do you press E while you're like moving to to the right? Like how do you press Q when you're walking upward? It seems really difficult. I can play a lot more fluid by remapping it. Let's see, I have something that might not have been tested in Act 1. I know there's a shop, but it's worth skipping even in higher NG where there's more loot in the first act than I'm thinking. Um, usually it's, it's never worth skipping if you're trying to push the NG. Could, could be the call orb of cleansing or something yeah I can see that orb of cleansing or like I don't know touch of blast wave or something I have the five button mouse so I remap yeah I do the same thing how many items are there in act one uh, let's see we gained one two three four five six seven wait no what do we get off of the we got this off of the boss, so we gained 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we also tried to open two chests that we got uh, ore out of. So we could have gotten uh, 11, but we didn't. And also things change, like in the Battlements patch, the shop can't be on floor 1. So, like, before you could do situations where, like, let's say you go to Act 2 and the shop is on the first floor and you, you shop for three items and you go to the portal and you get another six items. But uh, you can't do that anymore because it never appears on floor one. So I think if you're pushing, there's, like, no reason to ever skip it unless you legitimately just can't do the boss. But if you're pushing NG, that means you've already defeated the boss if you can use the portal. So I don't know if there's ever a situation where you can actually make benefit of the portal in high NG. I guess there could be like some really random chance, like you're playing like Sorcerer NG 20, you beat the Act 4 boss but die in Act 5 and like you got super lucky beating the act 4 boss so you'd have to you you would just take your you just take your chances and just skip it and hope you can complete act 5 I don't know that could be like the only fringe situation I can think of that would actually benefit you to skip a boss like that but it would probably be argued that you need to practice the boss more and actually do it Normally, Boots of Freedom. 
Um, I always finish around 16 to 20 items. Uh, Xeno rip. Can't type quick, quick enough. Uh, I don't know what the Xeno. I got the rest of it. Oh, for the puzzle, puzzle you can type it out to remember. Oh yeah. I uh, I just take a picture of it with the camera on my phone, and I just look at it and complete it that way. I, I feel like that's the easiest way to do it. it. Takes zero brain power. You don't have to have any reaction speed. Yeah, I used to try to remember it, but I don't know. I don't trust myself, so. I usually can remember the first three, and then I forget. I mix up the four and five, and that's the difference between a bronze chest and a silver chest. So I'll just take the, uh, the picture and guarantee it. See, I don't keybind, but I played a lot, a lot of MMOs. So, yeah. So you're used to having a lot of keybinds. All right, let's save the monolith till the end. Oh. I would definitely recommend keep finding this game. So I know what you mean, but like if you're playing an MMO, you can usually move with the mouse, and you just press keys with the left hand. And you can't really do that in this game, so I kind of switched it to where I press all the keys with the right hand and move with the left hand. Um, we definitely want the Markums, and we want the Mortar and Pestle. I don't play that way in MMOs. Okay, <laughs> how do you move? You hold down W? Yeah. But the issue, like, do you use Q and E as keybinds for, like, your main skills? I mean, I guess if you do that and you just... You, have naturally been doing it for that long. Let's actually take Mail of Thorns. I want the extra damage. Looks like we can just tank most things. Uh, only one I'd, I redid is E. Don't like E. Yeah, I could see you could use one or the other. I think it'd be very difficult to use Q and E in this game. I'd like, I don't know. I'd like the level I think you would need. you have to be able to hold down W to move around or hold down D and A like whenever you need to while still being able to cast all your skills like movement is super important for most characters hmm. that's interesting that you just like don't like that one one keybind. So when I was doing the MMO stuff, I was doing Q and E as well, but I would just move with the mouse, and I did like Shift Q, Shift E, Shift A, Shift F, Shift D, all of that. I didn't use the numbers at all, like most people use one through like five, one through four, and then Shift and Control and all that. I never used Control or Alt. Well, I would use Shift sometimes, but I wouldn't use Control or uh, or alt, but I'll use shift. I just put everything in the uh, WASD area. So I'd have like a tilde, would be like three minute cooldown maybe. Shift Q, or yeah, Q, E, R, Shift Q, Shift E, Shift R, Shift A, Shift S, Shift D, uh, F and Shift F, and then Z, X, C, 
V and then shift for all of those. And that was usually enough keybinds to do everything. And I'd have stuff on middle mouse wheel, mouse button three, mouse button four, and mouse button five. Any other keybinds to use it in like, I would maybe do like T every now and then, or shift R, or uh, G if I really needed another keybind. But it really depends what character I was playing. Like if I had like a pet, I would use mouse wheel up and down to attack or recall the pet. And like if the pet had a stun or something, then I'd probably use like G or shift G for like focus target. But everybody does their own thing and I think it works in many different ways. So I think the bottom line is just whatever's comfortable. I definitely wouldn't say that like anyone should use any certain keybinds for the most time. Most of the time. I think in this game is like kind of a rare exception because you definitely need to be able to use all your movement keys while using all of your abilities. So as long as you can do that, um, do whatever you would like. Almost to the second boss. Uh, let's see. I don't use control at all unless for like buffs that last for 30 minutes. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, that was kind of my same thing. Like the further it gets away from my natural resting position, then the um, the higher the cooldown can be. So like Q and E are usually like spammable melee skills. R would be like a maybe a 10 or 15 second cooldown. Same with like F, and then like Shift ASD would be like longer cooldowns, five minutes, three minutes, 10 minutes. And then I have like defensive cooldowns on like ZX, C, V. Really depends on what I'm playing. All right, so. I'm going to try to tank him off to the left side. I want to avoid bombs as much as possible. I used to be tanking him in the left hand corner, but the bombs would get kind of stuck right here, and I'd be tanking all the damage from the bombs. So I want to like tank him over here so the bombs go over here, and over here on the top and bottom of where I'm standing. combo. I don't want to be stuck in that spot. Hey, frying pan. I always played rogue or some warrior, as you could have guessed. Yeah, you definitely like your melee guys. I can't say anything. I was playing um, Death Knight. Death Knight and Shadow Priest were my go-to. Uh, played Warlock and Guild Wars, but that didn't last very long. Played like uh, some kind of mage in Neverwinter, that also didn't last very long. the new statue works, you don't have to push the button anymore. Just keep on going. Guild Wars 2, played Thief. Yeah, I liked the Warlock, but I never got far enough to like play him at a high level. 
the game just didn't, like, capture me. Uh, let's wait on a little bit of health. I don't want to be forced into using a potion, not be able to get it back. Oh, I didn't read that whole thing? Let's see. I've always played Rogue or some Warrior, as you could have guessed. Played Thief in that till I got pissed off and wanted Warrior. Guild Wars 2. Gotcha. I thought I read the whole thing. Oh, we got hit by it. Alright, now we have the two stones. health again, but I don't want to get stuck by like a, uh, what's it called? Great threat. Well, Thief got buffed after a long time. I can't even remember like when I played, but it was only, it was like for maybe just a couple weeks. So I don't even think I got max level. I know we were all playing like as friends and one guy got to max level like in the first week and the rest of us didn't get there because we were like we had jobs and whatnot and we just never caught up to him and then we all stopped playing <laughs> Alright, journeyman's, what is that, three piece? Eh, let's go a different way. I want to be able to gain health without like any issues. how tough Act 5 is going to feel playing it like at the correct level since the stuff got buffed. Potion here. I think the melee guys are faster than the caster ones, so maybe I can leech some before they get here. Yeah, alright. So it looks like we don't need to. Good luck. Gotta be real careful in Act 3. It's a lot of dangerous enemies. 
It goes from being like cakewalk to starts getting dangerous. I'd say act three and four, probably the most dangerous. Looks like we can tank more than we have been. Didn't meet you, yeah, I have to say yes. Oh, about the, uh, the difficulties. Especially if you do expand to floors, Act 4 feels so, like, it takes so long to do Act 4. And if you take too long, you start getting great threats, like, every minute. Just feels like a lot. Is there a reason for that? I'm not sure. I think just on average you have less magic damage than you have armor, so it feels worse. And the projectiles are hard to dodge. There's so many projectiles in Act, uh, Act 4. Oh, the floor's being bigger? Yeah, if you use expanded floors, I mean, it'll make them, like, ridiculous. Other times they're more manageable, but when you do the expanded floors, it's, like, not manageable at all. Oh, why would you do? Um, just try to get more items. That's, that's what I usually try to do it for. I'm not sure if you actually get more items or not. Um, I just haven't done enough testing. But since I use Crimson Death on everything, I don't really like making the floors bigger. Because you just drain your health so much trying to move around. And that, those kind of floors with all the backtracking because the portals and sending you just to random places, it's like super annoying. As a, as a Crimson Death person with expanded floors. It's like really difficult. People say it doesn't make a difference, but I don't really get how it can't. There's more floors, more rooms, more chances for items. I don't know. If someone knows for sure, then I guess I'll believe it, but it's just like, how do you test that? There's so much RNG anyway. Because I've done runs where it's not expanded floors, and I'm like pushing almost, <laughs> yeah, the devs, um, almost pushing 90 items, but I do an expanded floor, and I've had runs where I only have like 60 items, so it's it's just all over the place. It's hard to make like a real interpretation of that data. Just don't have the sample size for it. Please die. There we go. Hmm. We can tank the ghost to some degree. We just don't leech as much from them. Alright, go grab our monolith and go to the next floor. So we're feeling really strong until this floor. I don't feel as strong as I did. Need to get like a nice Sword of Kings or something. Gold Fever. This is like the only monolith now. It's interesting, one was a circle, one was like a sword, and I don't remember what the other one was. A shield? Interesting. I wonder what the point of the different symbols is. It would kind of make sense if they summoned different types of ghosts. But I don't think that's the case. I think they just added the icons just to do it.
I hate that they added that. Yeah. I think uh, you're probably talking about the Monos buff. Yeah. It's... It just deletes the pool. So, like, instead of having, what, 1 in 5 being good, it's like 1 in 6 now. Alright. Take it easy. Alright, everybody bad talk. Everybody talk bad about Elite Noob. He can't hear us. <laughs> oh, I got shotgunned by that one guy. Oh, he just started playing. I never played it, but I heard it's like... A Dota clan? A League of Legends clan? Ooh. That was some scary damage. Alright, we got the Necromancer at least. Still tab out if I die. Alright, it's all good, man. You do you. I'm just gonna be here grinding. Gladiators, that's a pretty big pickup there. Big fan of that item. This is our first, uh, our first statue, isn't it? Mage die, please. Oh, jeez. All right. There we go. All right. Secret. Hey, we got an item this time. Excellent. Hey, we're in the positive armors now. That's legit. Got him. Sniped. It's weird you can't cast magic arrow like right when it comes off cooldown. That's what it feels like at least. Maybe I was out of mana. I just didn't realize it. Or, I think I said magic arrow, but I meant power shot. I don't know why I think it's called magic arrow. Um, that's where they're coming from. Both coming from the bottom.
the statue. He's super happy when I get out of Hack 3. I guess it's not that bad, to be honest. I just like Act 5. All the new stuff. It's very refreshing. Still don't know what the new skills these enemies are going to have. They get uh, new NG plus skills that they added today. So. Or they added it to the streamer patch today. Let's see what we got. a lot of mages. Luckily they're kind of bad at aiming. Sequence completed. Alright, so we just need to see if there's any like traps or anything we missed. Kind of doubt it, but there's like a whole wall we haven't Explored. I think there's the upper wall and there's the side wall that we haven't checked out at all. Wow, that's a lot of guys. Alright. Let's abandon those guys <laughs> that are hanging out with the Necromancer. So there's nothing on that wall. Did we get the top wall? No, we didn't get the top wall. So let's check that out. Then we'll call that a successful uh, floor two. up here. Ooh, there's a shop up here. Show me the items. Alright, we can pause it. Alright, so Claymore is 100% going to get taken. Could I get the construct for the extra 10% damage? I'm not really worried about the movement speed or the mana, to be honest. So, we'll probably go with just defense and more damage. I think that makes the most sense. Alright, let's just get out of here. Alright, floor three. Uh, I don't want to go down. You can't see as much as quickly. Uh, all right. I don't know if that makes sense, but like the angle of vision is harder to see when you're going down versus when you're going like sideways or up. Maybe not up, actually. Maybe just sideways. So we are playing like widescreen. So we can technically see more to the left and right than we can up and down. So we have more time to react. We can use our range more as the ranger. <laughs> Out of five ghosts, three were mages. Alright, that one's done. So that was a shield icon. I don't know if there's any difference to be honest, but try to keep note. It's 
a lot of diamonds. Um, sure, we want to go. We go to the right first. statue. Let's see if we can take that out before we get our great threat. Alright. Is there anything over there? I think there's just diamonds. I don't care about diamonds. Instantly took out two of those redhead guys. The elite archers. Anything over there? Or we have our third statue over there. We also have a necromancer. So we want to try to pull as much as we can before we pull the necromancer. Two necromancers. Sniped. Okay, right, snipe the other one too. Maybe we can take out the third statue. Before we even get a great threat, that'd be nice. There we go. Got our second level, I believe. Mm, looks like it's just loot up there. There's no secrets or traps. We do have gold fever. We should pick up a little more gold than we are. Oh yeah, didn't have money for power shot there. Just trying to power shot them all where they're nice and lined up. Alright, so we have a chest and at least one secret. Oh, we got a blueprint. That was quick. Boots of the Giant. Move down to rare. About the carry satchel. What is that? Number two? Number two. So we're missing one more green and the white item to have that full set. I think it'll actually be harder to get the white item at this point. check out. We'll see how we do versus the wraiths. Bronze key. Sure. Sure, bruh. Alright, nothing over there. Uh, I guess technically we haven't checked between the two barricades.
Alright, uh, looks like nothing. Check for a wall secret just in case. At worst, is just some extra XP. Anything up here? Nope. Alright. So we're done here. Gonna wait on health for a second. This should be good enough. Well, what's our max? 19? Why not? Let's go. Didn't get combo till the last second. Alright, so we need to focus on the green and the red guy. I believe that's right. Try to recover without using any uh, potions. Mm. Just use the potion. That's what they're there for. Uh, so we need to fight the purple guy. Nice. Alright, so he has one potion. Just one more than we wanted to, but whatever. We have five. Be alright. It's better than dying. <laughs> Gets you the uh, adrenaline going, though. Oof. Now we get to slowly work through Act 4. Alright, 
So we have the exit. Um, just start jumping through portals. Ideally, we just want some more items for more damage. Pick up gold just in case we need it. I don't have a shop this floor, but the next floor. Ace chest. Well, at least it's the confusion layout, so we don't have to really worry about uh, doing that. Nothing even down here. I'm sure one of the portals will lead us down here. Alright, um, just start jumping through more portals. Hey, just like we thought. Uh, okay, sure. Extra health and mana. Need to leech a little bit. These guys are just taking it. There we go. That should be at least half health by the time we get to the portal. Okay. Didn't matter. Okay. All right. So that looks pretty good. Thing over there. Let's see one little entrance. Nothing. All right. 
didn't really ask for much more than that. It's kind of a tight spot. Ah, uh, we're fine. Overreacting. done with this floor, right? I've seen pretty much all the bottom. Oh, we got one more portal and seen what's up there. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to get my shop. Hopefully we can grab a nice blue item. up here. Oh, we already went through two of them. Okay, so one portal left. Can we leech? Oh, no, two portals. Alright. Okay, right, we're okay. Surprising myself. I feel like we're gonna uh, just randomly get mauled by a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> Take like a million damage. Fall over. Gold chest. Curious. Okay. I'll take all the resist and everything I can get at this point. Alright, button. Secret passage. I think that's all it looked like where the book should be down here. We'll grab this while we can. Alright, no book, but key, button. That is so many bullets. Come on, just die. It's like every single one of these can do so much damage to me. That looks like the, uh, the lightning trap. It should be like a free gold chest. having blood last. <laughs> Have the most deadly one last, so you don't really know if you can actually tank it or not. I guess it's no different than having it first. It's just now if I find a monolith that will help us, I have to keep the monolith the whole time and make it all the way to Act 4. Or not Act 4, um, the fourth ritual. Alright, um, let's 
Let's see how we can do this. Try to do the oh, the legit strat. See if we can do it this this time. All right, so let's see where it starts. All right, so that was a two. A2, it moved down. Over, down, over, up, over, down, 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 down. Okay. Uh, hopefully I did that right. All right, so A2. Doesn't look right. We'll try it. D S D W. Yeah, okay. So it was wrong. It somehow went to the next line. Oh well. We gave it a shot. We still got an item, I guess. It's just not a blue item like it should have been. So we'll go back to uh, <laughs> just doing it the stream way. The alt tabbing back into uh, the notepad didn't work out very well. I think I ended up hitting enter and it put uh, some of the commands on the next line. Just didn't work out well for me, as you can see. But whatever. Just one item. What level are we? 47? This is going to be an endurance test. But we're almost to the fun part. Frying pan. Doesn't look like there's anything down there, so let's just clean this up and continue on. Get a little ahead of ourselves. Great threat never showed up. I think it's pathing is blocked in a weird way. Ooh, another item. I see a crack in the wall as well. chest. Nice. At least we're kind of making up for botching that trap. We should have just made for certain. Just being lazy. <laughs>
boost casting cost of some stuff. That's not a big deal. Alright, there's our exit. Let's get our level. Great threat. I feel like he's gonna get stuck like the other one got stuck. I don't think the elite's gonna make it over here. But we'll get a bunch of the, the eyeballs. Alright, there's our level. Excellent. All right. Yikes. Ooh. Is there anything else left on this floor? I think we've gotten... Oh, there's our shop. Okay, so we got to go down and get that. I was wondering if we're going to get the shop this floor or next floor. This is great news. Definitely need some shop. Um, yeah, definitely need to get Markham's wand. Let's get the apothecary item. Um, let's actually get old map. I think the utility of it is really nice here. Last floor. Portal. Monolith portal. Okay. Wow, this is a huge floor. Alright, let's grab our book. Should be the only book we would need. And there's our exit. Not too worried about the drink, to be honest. I just want to get off this floor. Act 4 is not my favorite. At least we got our three piece Markhams. We're almost in the positive resist. So, there is some light in the darkness. A button secret passageway. I'm like not tanky enough to just run through these guys and leech as I go, or I would definitely try that. So I gotta take it slower than I would want. Is there anything like useful that we can see? 
Okay, back till I get a new game. Welcome back. How'd you do? Imagine playing a MOBA that you've never played before is uh, probably not the not the best. Oh right, but you were playing Smite, right? I thought you said... I don't know, maybe I read it wrong. <laughs> I thought you said this was your first time playing. Oh, I see. Okay. Just trying to find the message that made me feel that way. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Guess I was making stuff up. I'm slightly distracted by all these uh, projectiles. So, I'm sure I was trying to read fast and reading wrong. Don't think it's you at all. I think it's definitely me. <laughs> uh, so let's wait on the monolith. Mm. Alright, I see a secret. I want the secret. Gotta deal with all this other stuff. Alright, button. I never played Smite. I used to play some League, but... Oof. I don't have the extra um, <laughs> patience to give up for that anymore. Get way too stressed. Is it one more portal? One portal over there, and that's it. Looks like secrets have been opening up at least one diamond room. Not sure what else we got. Probably nothing too exciting. Take a little look up here. Nope. checking down there for buttons. That's what we we're doing. Alright, great threat. He's not stuck this time. Oh. It's the wrong way. Alright. I don't mess around with confusion. I feel like that's the quickest way to die. Just getting disoriented. That's a lot of red orbs. Okay, this looks like a relatively safe place to be. Can at least turn our back on this. Alright, that gold was not worth fighting these. I guess we need the XP. It's not a big deal. Nice. Oh, hello. Didn't see the one ghost there. 
Threat. I'm sick and tired of that <laughs> one wizard. one. Alright, that's a portal we've already gone through, so we can just grab our monolith and peace out. What do we get? Vigorous regeneration. Alright. Transformation. Alright, gonna wait like a second on our health. Alright, should be good to go. Alright, good luck. I guess I'm more worried about the phases than actually this guy. Alright, transformation. I guess I'm always worried about these phases. Let's be real. We're taking too much damage, but I'm still worried about the blood phase to be honest. The other one should be easy. Okay, so what's next? Uh, darkness? I guess it could have been deceiving since we have this uh, monolith buff. It could have been actually taken like a little more damage than we expected. Alright, so he is on the left side. I'm gonna root him behind so we can uh, clear out these guys. Got him. Perfect. All right. I'm trying to use my power shot on cooldown. Just quick tap it. All right. 
That was the longest confusion I've ever seen. <laughs> Maybe I was just impatient. It felt like five seconds or something. Great threat. Where's he at? There we go. Alright. I think we'll get our level during this fight. Shot the power shot the wrong way. Where's the combo? Here we go. Alright. Still the Monon's buff, so we can potentially get carried. It's a little spiky damage at the end, but I guess not quite enough to worry about. Cool. Alright, and there's our level. We got Toma Magic Missiles, level 49, so one more. Four floors, one shop. All right. Let's see how well we can do. Oh, hello, construct. Those mage sounds sounds different. It's new. Need to hide. All right, thank you. Uh, so many mages. What's our item count looking like? Forty-eight. Oh my god, we're so low on items. I guess a good run. We sit around sixty items right now. But so I would say we're kind of on the downside for sure. Usually like, uh, I don't know, I guess 48 is almost 50. I know that sounds super generic, but like, for real. making that noise. That was my, my bow shot. Alright, let's see what else we have on this map. Um, the cross, monolith, base chest we don't need to worry about. Gold chest, gold chest. Okay. Um, wow, well, we pretty much have to clear out everything, don't we? Maybe we can clear up this way and clear over. So I don't, can't really have any secrets down there. So that's what we'll try to do. Clear up and over, so we don't have to.
clear this room, clear that room, clear this room, clear at least half of that room, then go up here. Wow, so many mages. Alright. Maybe we can tank them more than I thought. What's our resist at now? Almost positive. Spawner down. Two spawners down. Let's get this elite. There we go. No ace key. <laughs> Where are my ace keys at? Uh, it's so much more casual, like playing through Act 5 than it is playing through Act 4. I don't feel like I'm going to die at any second. I know the potential is there, but I don't feel like it's going to happen. Oh, this is the Tome of Magic Missiles. That's what's making that noise. They added a new sound effect for it. It's a little too loud. stuff. Two elites. Kind of welcome fighting the elites, honestly. I need all the items I can get. I just don't really feel like going out of my way for it. Come on. Can I get in combo, please? Please? Alright. <laughs> right when he dies. Alright. That's fine. The combo gods are not liking me tonight. Not on this character, at least. Alright, that was way too many mages to see if I can tank. I don't know, maybe I'm a lot tankier than I thought I was. Seems like clearing this direction is working out really well. Got plenty of room to uh, pull back. Looks like I can tank it. I don't know what else to say about that. Alright, so this is just for the monolith. So we should honestly leave it till the very end. Let's grab everything else. We'll leave up some enemies just so we can leech from them when we go back over there. Curios. So I get to start three piece curios. Uh, guess what? My computer took a poop. No! What, what's what's wrong with your computer? Actually, I may be able to help you out. I mean, are you on tablet? Hmm. PSU? Oh. That's pretty common, I guess. 
It's usually either PSU or motherboard. Oof. No power, yeah, power supply unit. Man. So you got another one you're uh, ordering? Another PSU? Was it just random, or did your power go out or something? It's usually like if your lights flicker, your top two things that can uh, go bad is your motherboard blows a capacitor, or your power supply like, kills itself. First piece of tricksters. Yeah. I have one piece. One out of two. <laughs> one out of two. I don't know what I'm talking about. I guess I was thinking about the two piece. You really want the three piece for the extra five evasion. Can you? Alright. Grab our monolith. Right as we get a great threat. Alright. Shouldn't be a big deal. Yep, I'll be gone till I get it fixed. Tablet for now. Man. Hopefully it's only a few days. That's brutal. I feel for you, man. I've been in the same spot. Potential. All right. Let's just cruise. Gold chest, silver chest, shop. Gold chest. Gold chest. How can you tell if it's motherboard or PSU? Um, so, okay. When you turn on the computer, can you see if any lights on your motherboard turn on? There's also a paperclip test you can try, and I can explain that more. It'll basically isolate your power supply from your motherboard and create a closed circuit, and if your power supply can turn on, then you know it's like 90% chance it's the uh, the motherboard. Yeah, let's hear what happened. All right, so we can't have any secrets, so we'll just ignore all that. Oh, 
Oh, right, you're typing on a tablet. Okay. I was thinking there was like some weird delay going on. That makes sense. I changed some stream settings, so I'm always like paranoid I messed something up. I should at least be louder. Alright. Um, vampire bro. Where you at? Sir? Alright, there we go. Fly away, please. There we go. Alright. Alright, uh, let's grab our chest and we'll grab our shop. I was on Twitch and then a beep in my headset kept going off. Everything was lagging. I couldn't close anything and my mouse wasn't working. Uh, the beep on your headset. Okay, anyway. Beep on the headset, I'd have to know if you have a battery headset or like plugged in. I assume it's all related. So I was forced to restart with control and delete. Yep. Then it wouldn't turn back on. Um, so when you say it doesn't turn back on, does the fan spin up on the power supply? Do any of the lights turn on at all? Do you get any like blinking lights on the front? I don't know what kind of computer you have, but if it's like a, some certain computers have like beep codes and light codes on the front that'll tell you what's going on. Um, if this is like a custom computer, then that doesn't really help. Uh, but the brick where the power cord plugs into, if the fan turns on in that, then uh, let's see, no fans at all, lights on, lights on the motherboard. Okay, it sounds like it is your power supply then. Um, you can test it with a paperclip test. You uh, you put a paperclip in the seven and nine pins of the power supply and then you can try to turn it on like that and uh if it spins up then your power supply is still good but it sounds like it's uh your power supply i can link you the guide to do the test if you want to try it it won't hurt anything you just gotta unplug your power supply from the uh the motherboard and close the circuit with like a paper clip Uh, you want me to send that to you or no? The paperclip test. Power supply. I'll send it to you just in case you wanna wanna see. Yeah, you just gotta make sure the uh, power supply part, the clip is facing away from you. So I would just Google the paper clip test power supply and look at the images and just do what it says. And uh, when you try to turn it on, don't touch the paper clip. I don't want you hurting yourself. But I would almost guarantee you that it's the uh, the power supply. <laughs> hey, just making sure, dude. I do that stuff at work. Uh, I've never touched it yet, but I'm sure it's not going to be fun if I ever do.
just gonna shop. Alright. Uh, Markham's Mace. That's gonna happen. Out to the Thunder God, that'll probably also happen. And then maybe Gloves the Warding. Yeah. I like that. Making sure that wasn't the crit dagger. Let's see. Yeah, I worked on cars. We have some hybrid vehicles that can kill you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, your troubleshooting should be kind of the same for cars as computers, to be honest. Especially hybrid. That's cool. I didn't know you worked on cars. I mean, how would I know that, right? But that's cool. Yeah, Nissan dealer for seven years. Oh wow. Yeah, you know your stuff then. Alright, no secret over there. Secret here. Where else do we need to go? All right, I see a wall secret. I feel like my damage is so pathetic. And yeah, my items are pretty bad. Whew. Just going a lot slower than what I'm used to with the Ranger. Thought we're gonna have like a quicker run. Right, I need to go back down and get that gold chest. Hey, an item. Great threat. Dead manual. I hope a little bit. It's the best way over there. Got the level. Ring. All 
Alright, one more chest. Yeah, we can fight the boss. Whew. Or a splitter? Mages again this time. Curious to see what Battlements actually looks like, see if it's hard or not, with the changes. They kind of nerfed this guy, so this guy shouldn't be an issue. gained so much health. So we'll use it just cause. Doesn't seem like we needed to at all. Flame Tongue and Mask of Bewilderment. Primary attack confuses for 2.5 seconds. Oh yeah, that's the uh, they changed Club of Confusion to Mask of Bewilderment. That's right. All right, what we got in here? We got our Ace Key. Got a Monolith. Got paint, silver chest, and a gold chest. All right, Ace Key, silver chest, gold chest, Monolith. See, the density of those uh, snowballs have been increased. Alright, uh, grab 
that. I think we're just gonna go like an express run. All right, well it's endless, endless potential anyway. This doesn't really matter. Tell how like much I should respect these units. I feel like I do no damage, but I feel like they don't do any damage either. That's a cool looking die. Cloth ice. I like it. All right, what else we got to do? Uh, silver chest, gold chest. There's always more loot if you go to the left, but I don't know if it's like at the cost of more loot in the second run. The second floor, rather. Not run. more damage if I'm closer. Alright, I'll take it. Alright, what we got? Gold chest, monolith, silver chest. I don't think we can go over here, right? Okay. So, gold chest, monolith, silver chest. Ah, glass walks. Kings, is that our first piece of kings? Yes. <laughs> At least it was the attack power. Monster manual beast. Excellent. Getting some good damage for the, uh, the dragon, at least. Incredible strength. Getting all the damage. I see a free item. Sure. I guess I stepped off of it. Not a big deal. Maybe I was playing too slow for like the last two acts. I don't think there's any way I could have played Act 4 any faster, to be honest. But I've definitely hit the critical mass where I can just kind of run through everything. Alright. So, here we go. Crown of Kings. Second piece of Kings. Uh, we got up to five. One day we'll get there. I think we have the Apothecary, Mortar and Pestle as well. Yeah, we do. Okay. So we got all the cheesy stuff we need. Let's go. Oh, the only thing I don't have is Boots of Freedom.
confused. Nice. Whew. Let's see what we're looking like. Looks like damage dealt, 35, 8 mil physical, 26, or 9 mil physical, 26 mil magical. Wow. I guess that's all because of uh, Mage Bane with Incinerary Demise. Just felt like we would have had more. More physical. Anyway, uh, let's see what we got. What do we want to attune? We have our kings there. <laughs> we can attune Boots of the Giant. Plus 100 health. That would be interesting. It's a lot of health, I guess. Um, probably want to do... Well, we're mostly doing magic damage. But all the magic damage is coming from our primary or our uh, power shot. I think it's still worth to do... See. Eventually, want to start getting crit for my main hand with like Heartseeker and whatnot, but I think we're just going to go for Markham's Mace for attack power and Scepter of Kings. Oh, we could do another one? I want to do some green items. Elven Bow looks kind of, kind of good. Um, maybe Scarab as well grown to like those items. Yeah, let's just do those. Seems fine. Elven Bow especially. It's like another Sword of Kings. Maybe Claymore. 10 attack power, 5 physical and primary. Yeah, Claymore seems better. Alright. So that is the Ranger NG plus 6. So everyone is up except for the Wizard. We'll play the Wizard tomorrow. Um, so I guess 